All right, guys and girls, got two new tools. Um, first tool is AST, and the part number is Sierra Charlie Papa 201417. They're made in Taiwan. Look like regular pliers, but they are not. They're four hose clamp pliers um, with little springy looking ones so you can get offset. They're, I haven't used them yet. They're a little bit wider, well, quite a bit wider. So these are made in Taiwan and they're manufactured as AST. Uh, I think they were 30 bucks. Just a nut and bolt, nylock, spring. The spring is held in fast. So I don't don't know much about these. I bought them for working on the heavier equipment at work. And a couple jobs where these would have came in handy instead of fighting for an hour and a half trying to get them off. Where these are what they're designed for. So I'm gonna give them a shot. I don't know. Second pair is a pair of Swedish pliers. Uh, these are by Kinep or Kaipok or however you want to say it. Uh, the part number is 83030010. I don't know if you can see it, but they are made in Germany. They're 45S, whatever that means. Uh, these are about 80 bucks, my price. I got these off the Cornwall truck, my price a little bit cheaper. And they got some gnarly teeth on them. There. And those teeth are pretty gnarly. Uh, they have a couple different styles. This is the style that, I think they call it S style or I don't know. But anyway, I haven't tried them out. I got them today. Yeah. Here's the uh, PWZ-1Gs for comparison. They are uh, almost identical minus the teeth where this has a little jaw on it. These are straight. And these teeth are quite a bit more aggressive than these on the snap ones all the way open okay so the snap one's all the way open we're gonna close it so that's as wide as they go right there on the snap ones i get these out of the way and we're gonna do the the knipex or capex or however you say it i don't care those are all the way open as well jaw openings roughly the same if this wouldn't be up didn't wouldn't have this jaw on it it'd be about the same uh build quality uh the snap-ons are made by bonco or Baco in the eu these are german made so the quality is definitely there the pwz's have two rivets holding it in and uh, the sheet comes up and around and then into here where this is all with one rivet and one piece of steel uh, these are chrome vanadium and actually they're a little bit narrower than the snap on so if space is what you're looking for They're quite a bit narrower, good quarter inch narrower than the snap ones. We're going to see how these work. I'm going to put them on a piece of pipe tomorrow at work. Both built about the same. Uh, the Knipex or tad bit heavier. Uh, fit and finish, I, 
I don't know if you guys can see it, but let's see if I get a pin here. Right here in the jaw opening has not been painted. Everything else has been painted, so that tells me they were assembled and then painted. <coughs> Excuse me. Goes on both sides. Down in here. No. Down in this area here has not been painted. Or powder coated. I don't know what it is. On the inside is the same way. Down in here has not been painted. Sorry about the lighting. It's what, it's what I got to work with today. But anyway, I'll take my word for it. Not painted down in there. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I think it may be to keep from binding up with paint or gumming up with paint. And that's spray it down with some fluid film. But other than that, they seem to be well made for the money. They're not cheap. I'm not going to give the price because my price is a little bit cheaper than what you guys can get them off the Cornwall truck. You can probably get them off eBay or Amazon. It's a little bit cheaper. But we'll do a review on these after a couple weeks of using them. I really like these. So it's going to be hard to... they can beat these, I'll let you know. And no cushion grip for you guys who must have cushion grip. That doesn't bother me on stuff like this. So anyway, the Knip X is 8330010 for the part numbers on the Swedish pliers and the hose ring pliers are an AST. Sierra Saint Sierra Charlie Papa 21417. Uh, this is looks aluminum, but it's steel. I took a magnet to it from the refrigerator. I don't know if it's uh pop metal or not. They got some weight to them, so I don't know. And these are made in Taiwan. So let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. And as always, guys, have a good day and thank you.